Yeah. We are SomeoneNerdy.com. I'm Starf Chris. GDS here. And uh, we're going to do a review of Too Bad from the Master of the Universe Classic line. Um, I had the vintage one. So uh, did I. He did this kind of number. Punched himself in the like face. A boxer. Almost. A little spring action. I, think, I don't know if it was spring action. It was spring he, action. He pulled it back. Yeah, his hands popped back yeah. up again. Uh, one of my favorite toys when I was a kid. Um, I liked the kind of the strange ones. On he was alright. Um... Not one of your favorites? Nope. You could talk about bad guys? Which one was my favorite bad guy? Uh, no. Well, the whole line. What like, were some uh, of your favorites? Rio Blast and Extendor. I really liked Extendor. He was, like a, he one was like a pearl. That's what he kind of looked like. like. Or like a Mardi Gras. Never had that, I don't like, think I've ever seen him when I was a kid. Well, he was pretty cool, dude. I enjoyed him hitting him. And I liked Battle Armor He-Man. But I never had Battle Armor He-Man. My friend who... My childhood best friend. So you just first, through him. Yeah, he had him. He had, he didn't have as much of He Man as I did, but his collection was the next rival to mine. Uh -huh. And we always had fights over how the sword would be held, because you know I had the little plastic handle guard. thing, the little guard. He made me. We're at, we're at his house. He would put the hand in between the actual handle, and you had to hold the guard, which is totally retarded. And I explained it to him by biting him one day. And he just didn't understand. So we got in a big fight, pulling hair, biting two six-year-olds, crying our eyes out. His mom comes in there and makes the mandate that when I'm over at his house, I have to hold the sword like he wants it. And when he's at my house, he had to hold the sword like I wanted it. And so your mom had to make rules. His mom. His mom had oh, to his... make rules about how y'all played with y'all He-Man toys. Yeah, well, you should have seen the, the whole Voltron fiasco, because he got one before I did, but it was only like a four or five inch. You got the big one, huh? Well, yeah, I got the last lap, but he had a little, like, a little die, hard, die cast metal one, and I hid it from him one day. He wouldn't let me play with it. So, his house. so I hid it from at his house, and like, you know, little, the little things you keep your crayons in? It's made out of wood, no, not wood, but cardboard, you know, the mm -hmm. wood. Yeah. I hid it in there, and I left, and I remember the very next time I come over, and my mom, I think his mom was babysitting me sometimes, so my mom drops me off, and everything was fine, until my mom left, and then his mom grabbed me by the arm, and pulled me to the bedroom, pulled my pants down, whooped my ass, and said, where's his toy? And t with tears in my eyes, I should have Okay, this. we're way off subject. Um, All right. Too bad was one of my favorite toys. Uh, Mantena, Fisto was another one. Fisto's a. I can tell you the one I hated the most. I hated Zodak. Zodak. I don't think I've ever had Zodak. Zodak sucked balls. He was just a bland toy. And he's just a mishmash of other things, too. Yeah, and like, you'd have like uh, weapons packs that always came with his weapons also. And I'm like, oh, it's just another Zodak weapon. See, I don't think I had any of the weapon packs either. Zodak sucked. Mm. Dude, it was just a terrible toy. I don't anyway, way off subject. Um. Through. We're going to talk a little bit more about it, get a better look at it. There's a lot of things that I like about it. There's a lot of things I don't like about it. Well, I guess that's just too bad, isn't it? <laughs> They're going to keep coming, just like that. Um, but uh, let's uh, see before we jump into the figure, um, kind of look at the boxes and the packaging. We got the box here. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a trap jaw box. We're doing a little comparison for you. The new box. And uh, there it is right there. Just a plain, bland cardboard box. Uh, a little smaller, uh, a little tighter to the package. You can see, we did hide it on, but you can probably see right here, it's about an eighth of an inch smaller. Yeah. And uh, recycled. What we've been hearing is that not painting it and not putting the gloss on it, they're saving money and keeping costs down. Uh, not a big deal to me. Um, I, I say I don't keep them, but there's a, you can't see it, but there's a stack of them. Over there, um, I'm going to throw them away eventually. So it doesn't really matter to me the package. I open everything. He's a uh, mint on card. I open everything. Now, another question I have: like I thought at first that you know they had some room to save, so they just made the box smaller. But there's something about the toy that's smaller too. So I don't know if they're cutting these toys down a little bit to save on you know some prices. But there's a question for ask in a minute, but I'm going to open it up, and it opens the same way all the other ones do. And there we go. Um, you got the 
kind of classic punching fade thing. Um, yeah, they put his arms up to make it reminiscent of the vintage toy, but they, are, you know, they sit down and his hands go out like this. Um, just as pose was, that was the other figures. Nothing really fancy. Still got the same bio. Do you have figures. all those on the back? I don't um, um, unfortunately, you don't. I don't have Beast Man armor, man. No. <laughs> I don't even have Skeletor. I have Battle Armor Skeletor, not real Skeletor. Um, I'm a terrible human being. Tiss, tiss. I do have Man at Arms because you got me that. Oh, I got him yeah. Man at Arms. Um, that's what started it all, actually. He brought me Man at Arms. I had a spear. Uh, um, like I said, I don't really care about the package. I opened this up instantly. We even had to use JDS's figure just to show you what it looks like in package because I didn't have no sense to take pictures of it before I opened it. We seen that the box was smaller. We just had him on a counter and looked. I was like, hey, that one's smaller. So I took this toy and I took one of his old cards that he has and I put them side by side to see if that was smaller. And the cards are actually this, the same height. So apparently there was, they had some... Yeah, there was a little bit of room. They had a room, so a little bit of room to play. Probably, they probably had about a quarter inch to play, so they took an eighth out. Not a big deal, like I said. Um, Same as the money, hey. Keep, if you keep are collecting the, are. the boxes, I guess it might be a big deal, but it's not to me. I just throw them in the attic. Yeah. Alright, so jump Over. right into the figure. Yeah, Alright, right uh, well, that's too bad. Um, you got the skelly side on the left, blue side on the right. Left, right, yeah, that's right. Um, sure, the chest piece... Molded in purple. Uh, right side painted was blue. Articulation is pretty much normal for a He-Man figure, even it having the weird chest piece. Well, I guess this boot pretty limited. Um, for some reason it is about the mushroom you got. The left side. I'm actually scared to move this one because this one feel like it's gonna break. Yeah, there's no tilt. Yeah, no tilt. Uh, the skelly, somebody correct me on this in the comments, but this is, uh, I'm pretty sure, reuse. This arm and leg right there. Either from Whiplash or maybe one of the uh, Snakemen, maybe? No, I believe no. A Snakeman has that. Uh, snake face? No. You sure? I don't believe so. Okay. Um... But it kind of comes to my problem was I have with it. I think this should have all been bigger. Well, I guess that's just too bad, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Uh, the head seemed too small for it. The body seems too small. I would have liked it a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit taller. It, uh, the finished figure itself was, had a big, bulky body. And the 2000X was a bigger toy. So you would think that... This one would have been big too, so like maybe like a deluxe figure like Rain Man was. Yeah, and Rain Man was about the same height, but he was about double. He was double. I mean, he was pretty wide. And you think like you have two people, and you combine them into one person, that'd be one pretty big person. But it's, it's on par with all the rest of the figures, and like the, the size of the box kind of made me suspicious as maybe they downscaled the toy itself. But then I was thinking, if they did that, then they had to retool all the reusable parts that they have. And they do have some re reusable parts. And he really is about the same height as this normal figure. I mean, you might be cutting the hairs with just a little bit. Then, like, um, take off Skeletor's head. That's your toy. head size and it's comparable I mean they're about the same size it just seems smaller when it's on too bad's body yeah it seems a little smaller and so you can put the Skeletor's head there um, body armor I do like how it fits on there most of the pegs are on the side that I've noticed this is kind of hidden and it doesn't yeah it doesn't look like it's a removable thing. It just looks like a all, part of the armor that's yeah, supposed yeah. to be there. That's cool how they integrated the pegs into the back of it. So that's a plus for this toy. Um, 
Unless the body was out it. Here's something that's here's a fun fact. Like um, on the old vintage figure, this was not a perfect segmented line. It bled. The purple bled over. He even didn't even on his yeah. femur right here. It bled over. It looked kind of looked like his version of the Michael Jackson disease. But uh, here's I mean, something. I, I wish it would have bled over a little bit. Maybe maybe not this. You know, just a straight split. Yeah. But it's not too bad. Nah, it's not noticeable. And it have like a on this boot, all these dimples that wasn't on the vintage figure. It was on a two thousand X figure, so that's kind of new. On this boot, you did have the spikes on both the vintage and the two thousand figure, but you didn't have this buckle right there. And he also has one on the inside. He has another buckle and this round knob right there on his knee. The spread that's not on the vintage figure as well. But uh, I think that's the only differences that I can find within the, um, the vintage toy and this one. Yeah. Um, something that we did come across that we've done. If you can, you guys can see right there from just playing with it a little bit. We kind of scuffed off his scaling. So, yeah, look. And I'm not sure if it came like that or, or us messing with it kind of did that. Yeah, or... that might have been China that did it to us. You know, they get you every time. But look, when you do that, that is going to rub on some scales. So if you're playing around with this, posing it, you know, be wary of that. It's something you want to pay attention to. And you want to talk about this other little complaint on the mace that you have? Uh, yeah, um, this is supposed to be a adults collector's line. It's not for kids. It's it's supposed to be, you know, this is internet only. You can only buy this on here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is a giant China print written, stamped on this. Um, I don't know if it's for import reasons or... Um, this is a standard China was it you know it getting shipped over here or something like that, but I've collected Sideshow Hot Toys. I got tons of weapons from them. None of them say China on it, uh, so I don't understand why this needs to be. This isn't like a mass retail kind of thing. Um, so that kind of super aggravates me. Uh, it's you really only could put the mace in one way without seeing a giant China on it. Like I said, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but then you got shield. Um, my other kind of complaint was the shield is this giant clip. Um, this is a normal He-Man shield. You got that. Then you got this. This is only going to work on too bad because it only kind of clips onto his fins. His gauntlet. And if I can get it on there, it's got to be like in the right area. See? Now this only goes on too bad. Now I know we're not getting more weapon packs or anything like that, but I wouldn't mind getting this in a different color. You can take the, you know, the He-Man shield and put it on his wrist. Well, act, you know, it's a little bit higher than his wrist. But why do they do that? I want to know maybe if like the vintage shield fit in the same Part I don't as this toy, yeah. I don't recall, and maybe it did. And they wanted to put it in the same spot, but they could have just as easily. It just seems like an unnecessary thing. Yeah. They could have just as easily made a universal one and put it, you know, on the low part of his wrist. All in all, I'm ecstatic to get this figure. I really am. It, like I said, it's one of my favorite vintage figures. Um, I do feel the shield. I do feel it needs to be bigger. Um, that's probably my biggest complaint about it. Yeah, the toy needs to be. It should. It really. I thought I've been thinking, probably since I started collecting a year ago, that when they did release Too Bad, that he would be big like Ram Man on a deluxe figure. So, and uh, yeah, I mean that uh, really is yeah. probably my only. I was surprised that it wasn't, and now that we got it, and it's not. Yeah, you know, I wish it was, but you know the verdict is still out that. Maybe they shrunk this line up just the most insignificant amount. Save a little money, I guess. But um, since you know, since we thought this was and this is a new tooled, yeah, body. So maybe I don't know. But since we thought this 
was going to be bigger than what it was. That might be the reason why I think so, but we'll see as Glimmer comes out and Hydron comes out. You know, are they just a tidbit smaller? You know, the box is a little smaller. It's the eighth and smaller. And to the eye, you know, it looks a little smaller, maybe because we thought it was going to be bigger. So we'll see as the year go along if they if they kind of shrunken that up on us. But if they did, it'd be a little bit harder to use, like, this part that's probably came from Whiplash, you know, because those parts would be the normal size and they would have to completely retool the whole year and not be able to use any. And I'm pretty parts. sure that's not what's happened. I'm, I'm sure it's perspective. We're, we're only maybe wanted this to be bigger so it just seems smaller to us. Yeah. So it's and you, just, when you compare it to something else, it's it does just speculation seem right, right yeah. now. So, well, you know, by May, April, we'll know for sure when we see a few other toys. Um, one thing we. Oh, you got a surprise for us. A surprise. You? Uh, yeah. We did this whole entire video. Um, my wife, my wonderful wife, walks into the room and it reminds me that I owned and have in the house a vintage too bad figure. I forgot about this completely. So everything we were saying earlier, yeah, he punches himself in his face. And this kind of... Jackass. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hee-haw. This is a good, what, half inch bigger Dude, yeah you can see how this figure is wider even like look at the back yeah. i mean that's that's why it's like a goblet shape yeah. you know it's so you as a kid it was big, big. i know you were small even with my hands while I was small yeah. this figure is probably you know giant. yeah you were small then but it was still it was it had some girth to now, it now the my problems was the heads being too small even these heads these are, heads are bigger than yeah. these heads obviously the body size is bigger um so, so yeah, it could so that, to well, be then, more authentic. It could have been a deluxe figure, been and I would not have been worried about paying extra ten, yeah, fifteen dollars yeah. more. I well, we already this. brought the subscription, so we were going to get it anyway. So I mean, that's put it in a deluxe spot. Was this subscription it exclusive? Oh uh, yes, it was. So <laughs> you can't even buy this. <laughs> so if you uh, good luck. If you haven't, or you're not a subscription this year, you're going to have to go on eBay. $100 on the first day. Is it? Was it? Well, I bought King He-Man for $100 pre-ordered because he was the subscription exclusive. Was he? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. So, if you want this today, 100 bucks. Hmm. You'll probably find it maybe between 875 and 100 but yeah, pretty much 100 bucks. Uh, he's a pretty requested figure. So, um, yeah, he's a classic yeah. vintage figure. You know, there's not too many more left that I didn't have. Yeah. Um, pretty much, like I said, this is, it's, I love it. I mean, I do. Dude, Other than the size things, that's my Just the original problem. concept of how he looks, he's, like, both of these heads is pretty scary looking. It looks like a dead eye from the Evil, Evil Dead remake, doesn't it, Roz? Roz? Roz. Go watch to this, it. like, tell him to watch the Evil watch Dead it. remake. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all we have to say about it, uh. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook page. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, we l we're going to keep on doing these things. Make sure you watch our last video, which was Castle Grayskull. Um, we want to probably branch off after this, so I think we're going to do some uh, DC Direct figures. Yeah, next month I'm getting the uh, Crime Syndicate DC Direct toys, which I've started the line probably uh, close to a year ago. And as the line's going on, they've added more articulation to it. So these these ones these this crime syndicate have some awesome articulation i can take johnny quick and really make him run which my flash figure i couldn't so when i get those in in a month we'll we'll go through those and have a um, fun time with those i think uh next month we also got the new orleans wizard world comic con we'll be there ivy doom kitty <laughs> um oh yeah and some dude that played a doctor on Genesis yeah i think he's gonna be there like, uh, what's his name matt something matt yeah Matt something. Yeah, Matt something. Uh, Robert Eaglin, Evira. Freddy Krueger and Evira. Come on. Yeah, you can't beat that. So if you see us walking around the uh, New Orleans Wizard World Comic Con, we'll be wearing some t-shirts. Um, stop by and say hello to us. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Ben's website. Oh, uh, I got Games, Geeks, and a War in the Stars. I practice. <laughs> got that for you. Uh critters no 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 yeah critters page uh, social virus durfs durfs domain um toys toys and toys star wars fan boys and fan girls um that's all our facebook pages we'll have everything in the link in the bottom um 
We'll see you next time. Toodles. service announcement from JDS. I can't help it he doesn't have one. Not my fault. See that that song, the Katy Perry song. I kissed oh, the girl. Okay. I kissed the girl and I like you know the one that blew her up. I really don't know. Well, do you remember the song in high school when the girl was on acoustic guitars like, I kissed the girl and I do it again? It wasn't that true. No, that wasn't no. true. No. Uh, it was, she dropped, that was our one hit wonder. Was it? Yeah. So we went from like, I remember the song. 97, I kissed the girl and I do it again. <laughs> we are someonary.com. Right. So why would you do this? Hello, everybody. We're someonenerdy.com. I'm JDS. Yes. Snarf Chris. Snarf Chris. Which one of those Batmans you know that we get all on? You fucking have it. Which I one? I hate that fucking figure. Which one? The... Christian Bale? Yeah. I'll take it. No. Well, what else we got?